Hi, and welcome to the first episode of my tutorial series on AWS using CDK TypeScript. My name is Faru Gada, and I will be guiding you to the basics of CDK TypeScript. So if you look at the agenda, the goal of this introduction video is to get familiar with the concepts and tooling that we'll be using during this tutorial. First thing we'll be looking at is uh, AWS. What is AWS and what does AWS have to offer? Uh, then we will briefly touch on the subject of infrastructure as code. And finally, we will dive into the CDK. What is CDK and what can we do with it? So uh, let's start with AWS. If we go to the Amazon website, uh, there's a link in the video description. We can read that AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. And AWS is a cloud platform offering cloud computing services. To understand this, let's take a step back uh, and first look at how traditionally an application would be deployed and then compare that to uh, a cloud, cloud platform. So, um, well, in a traditional sense, it all starts with renting or buying servers where you can store data or run your application code. So these are physical machines uh, that are at a certain location, give you the capacity to uh, deploy your application code. And finally, once your code is deployed, your end user can interact with it. Um, so if we look at the traditional way of working, it's, it's very hard to scale your infrastructure uh, on the go, as you would need more physical machines to do so. And this also comes with the great cost upfront, making it harder for small businesses and startups to uh, compete in, in the field. Uh, and there's another issue is, uh, let's say you have a variating load uh, that you need to uh, work with throughout the year. Let's say you have a web shop and there's Black Friday. That would mean that for this one year, uh, one day in the year, you would need to have physical devices during the entire year or have real good contracts with a certain party that would uh, provide you these machines for a certain period. So scaling is uh, hard in this sense. Now, if we look at uh, cloud computing, so we'll still be using servers. The big difference here is that these servers will not be owned by us, but by Amazon, and they're spread all over the world. So we have a <clears throat> good availability across all regions. Then we deploy our code to these servers and finally the end user can still interact with our app. So <clears throat> what is the big difference here? Well, if we're using the servers provided by Amazon, it gives us the ability to scale our infrastructure on demand, up and down. So this would mean that whenever uh, we request a server from Amazon, we get a virtual server that we can use and when we're done with it, we can just give it back and we only pay for what we actually use. So the computing space or servers that we have in use or in reserve. Uh, unlike the traditional way, so we don't have fixed costs up front and we can manage our spendings uh, based on the demand we are getting from the end users. So this greatly reduces the cost it also gives you a lot of flexibility to scale up and down. And I have to say, AWS is not the only cloud provider, of course. There's also Google Cloud Platform, the Azure Platform, and a lot more players. But my personal preference goes to AWS. So now that we have a general understanding of what uh, AWS uh, provides, I would still recommend that you read up on it so that you get a better view on it. Uh, Let's touch on the subject of infrastructure as code. So we will be heavily focusing on this uh, principle during this tutorial. So what is infrastructure as code? If we look uh, on the right side of this slide, we see an uh, infrastructure diagram of the EKS cluster. So this cluster is a combination of components and this uh, combination of components can be deployed to either clicking to the AWS console, which is a valid way of uh, creating uh, infrastructure like this, or it can be provisioned through code. And uh, 
provisioning it through code is the recommended way uh, because using the code which adheres to the principle of infrastructure as code will highly reduce the risk of human errors because you're not clicking through the buttons or writing uh, code it's all configured in one space you increase uh, the stability of your environment with this as well and you can optimize for cost by already provisioning your uh, yeah scaling up and scaling down inside of your code it also makes the infrastructure reusable uh, across multiple uh, environments and also you can share it with uh, anyone that needs it and finally you can deploy uh, you can test your infrastructure before you are deploying it because you have it in in code you can look at the outcome and run your test on the outcome so i highly recommend that you read more on infrastructure as code but this is just a brief touch upon it uh, I think this is what you need to know to get started on this tutorial. Um, so that now that we have uh, this subject done, let's go to the next one, which is the AWS CDK, which the tutorial resolves around. And AWS CDK, so CDK stands for Cloud Development Kit, and it's a framework uh, that gives you the ability to define and provision your cloud infrastructure as code for the Amazon cloud. So uh, we want to use infrastructure as code and CDK is a tool that we can do it with. So if we look at what CDK has to offer, it gives us uh, a range of programming languages to work with. First off is TypeScript. It's the program language that we will be using during this tutorial, but you can also use uh, JavaScript, Python, Java, and c -sharp or .NET. Um, by using the CDK framework, we can use our preferred coding language to define our infrastructure. And once we have defined our infrastructure, the CDK will then output a CloudFormation template, which is a list of all our components and configuration that represents the state of the infrastructure we want. There's also a link in the video description uh, for CDK workshop. I highly recommend to go through that. And there's also a link to uh, read up more on it. Uh, as in the next video, we will be setting up everything that we need to create and deploy our first CDK app. Uh, we'll be using CDK TypeScript. So <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe hit that bell button. Uh, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.